That's our topic, short topic. I know to share to Kidogo by God's grace. We need to make things happen by the grace of God. Kitu kimoja ambacho ni chama ana sana. Kama tutafanya mambo itendeke. Tunaichaji kitu kwa integrity. Integrity ni uwezo wakufanya mambo wakati ufaao. Pahali panapo faa na jia inao faa. Ulitarajiwe uwe kanisa sabiri. You are there. Ulitarajiwa uwe smart. You are smart. Ulitarajiwa uwekoze sifa. Uliongoza. Ulitarajiwa ucheze gitaa. Ulicheza. Ulitarajiwa upage viobo. You are there. Ulitarajiwa. Yani you do things rightly Ata kama hujui I want to tell something even if you don't know a lot why don't you be a man of integrity Ulituambia utakuja ulikuja Tulikubaliana tutatoa ukatoa Tulisema tukutane tulilie Mungu ulikuweko One thing that inasababisha Mungu akutumie kutimiza mambo fulani is because of integrity you are a man about una nidhamu isiyo ya kawaida let me say this by God's grace have you ever seen a sister who prays and worship a lot a brother ambao mnamwona anamtumishana lakini hana integrity fulani ana tabia ingine ambao hamwezi apatana naye Hamwezi enda naye siku mbili mutakosana haweki masaa haweki nidhamu haweki maagano mulianza kabiashana mulianza kukaa na yeye mukasema wewe ununue breakfast na wewe ununue lunch na wewe ununue supper haya wakati wako kufika lunch hakuna unapata hata kama you are worshiper huna integrity tulikuwa tukutane brother uongee haya mambo fulani hukuja na hukusema have you seen such people in the church haji na hasemi watu wana kiroho ingine ambayo tujalitoa wapi tulisema tuje kesha umelala hata kama Mungu angetaka kutumia uponye mtu kwa kesha angetaka uombe safari ya watu wako na shida mahali God cannot use you hello praise God hallelujah Bwana asifiwe. Unajua ndi ndiabia watu ukienda unasema you know I was so happy today with there's a bishop Leo Sisomi na nyinyi kuna nimeenda kanisa fulani. And yes, I was I, I felt so so good nikamwambia enda uambie nimewasalimia. Sa bishop nitawasalimia. Hello praise God. Hallelujah. You know I come up here. Do you know? Nita kwa yuko kani zaleo sana ne amgo ni kule lo whatever. I be oh na kwa kitabu ni kujo wa salimi. I felt so good. Nani kaske yuba yuba sabari me barikiwa. Now listen. Kama geenda haniambi na na nita pasta wake. That is wrong. Missi pasta wake hivo. Hello, praise God. Me me ni kia damu na ambi na bishop ayuko akoboswana. Na bishop hayuko akobusia. Sini kweli. Wewe hauko husemi. Kitu kimoja na musicheke. I'm speaking very seriously. Just try ukose ibada mara kama ine na husemi. Utaona. There's something affecting you. Because anointing haifanyi kazi hivo. Two cannot work together unless they agree. Anointing requires flow. Hallelujah. And you, you see, integrity is very important. Eh? Kuwa, let me put it this way. Uwe na sense of effectiveness. Sense. Sense ya effectiveness. Sense, iyo na mana, imesha hivi. Uwe na nia ya kufanya mabo kwa jia inao faulu. You see, mutu yote ambaye, like now, unafagia kanisa. Unafagia tudu ufagie. Unaunda nyumba. Unaunda tudi uude. Have you ever known something? Na wana abia watu hivi. Ukiagalia mijego. Ukiagalia mijego. Lekina hapa ini plaster. Imepigwa hapa. The same content and the same material. Where is there pea mutu? Apige bitter sense of effectiveness. The same money. 
same material apiga hivi hivi ukute within two days kuna clerk ukienda kupiga unasikia hiyo simiti haikushika watu ambao hawana nia ya kufanya mambo kwa njia inayofaulu kama ni biashara such people hata kama Mungu agataka kukutumia ako na problem na wewe because agataka kupatia 100,000 kuna mahali agataka kukutumia ufaulu sana Hallelujah kuna wakati you know you know we share something about business huyu ni mama huyu ni biashara sema mama 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 you know my sister aliaza akiwa kachana kadogo hivi kana furaha kana lakini kana pesa but i admire your sense of effect mosaic wapi sina ubaya ninaanza ni historia but hata kabla hujamuoa yangu ni ndefu hata wewe ni product ya ma, si unasema umwambia ni, ni product ya maombi ya unabii ubarikiwe e, si mama hata wewe huu ni mke wa ule unisho kuna watu wanaona dada huu bishop alisema hivyo ni wanani nataka kumsaidia baada ibada ako na mwenyewe na mwenyewe zaidi ni Mungu haleluya usiye niambia hivi Waliaza hivi simple tuoke ni ukweli simple wanapewa tu pesa kidogo na NGO sijui microfinance and that microfinance ilikuwa inaangalia sense of effectiveness anaangaliwa tuona hiyo 1500 tumie tuone akatumia ikawa mzuri eh mkaongeza wakati mwingine eh mara mbili ya hiyo wakafuatilia wakaona kuna na bidii Ukagosa ingine gani? Wakaogezwa. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Eventually sasa anaenda bank, anapewa kitu, anafauru. That's how people rise in the church wapendwa. Keti tu. Sasa kiniambia bishop, niombe nataka kwenda China, wakiwa na kila baba kingoli na wengine. Eh? Sinakupa kuliko nataka kwa container hapa. Hali uwe. Lakini umuse na wengine ukiwagalia Eh baba kingoli utaenda na yeye kama huna akili ya kufaulu. Ah ah mtakosana. Huwa tunafanya kazi na yeye hii tunakaa na yeye and that's why we might, mimi napenda kitu mzuri. Yeye anajua. Anaambia watu hii mkiweka bishop atatoa na ni kweli. Asifai ni ada hasara. So you see that says did you start a business ukiwa na nia ya kufaulu sana in your mind? That's very important. Hallelujah. Bwana asiwe sana. Because ahadi za Mungu hufanya kazi vizuri kwa mtu aliye na hiyo. Even prophecy works well kwa mtu aliye na integrity and number two, uko na sense of effectiveness. Kwamba Mungu akinipa tu baraka hii atajua kuna mtu anajua kutii na kutunza Mungu akinipa tu hii boda boda ni yakomenya kuna mtu ambaye ako tayari kumtii sense of effectiveness Nisali, salimieni mnaingiza hiyo saa hiyo natakiwa kuwa hata nikivuka mahubiri umehubiriwa hakuna mtu atakiwa kuwa maskini fuata watu wakaliza si mimi nawajua sasa mna hii Hakuna mtu hapa sijui you are not strangers. Wengine tuliaza na nyinyi mkiwa eh wazuzi. Habari yako? Mkiwa sichana wa ndogo hao. Habari ya hebu simama. Eh kuja hapa nisalimie. Watu wengine napendaka tu kuwasalimia hala loya. Hai hai ya 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 ya. Pigie makofi ya loya. Kama dada kama huyu msichana wetu huyu Mama yake akiwa haya alikuwa ananiambia bishop wewe kubuka wakati wa mazishi ya baba ya huyu ulisema wewe ndiye baba yake. Unajua mama yake alinitisha sana. Kaambia bishop kama ni uongo video ikuje. Kai sasa isikuje. Sasa wakati wa dawa ile na nijikaza sana. Hai wewe. Sasa huyu I remember those old days kukawa na shida ya wazazi. Ni kama hana mwenyewe. Bashi had a sense of effectiveness akaanza kabia shara kuuza viatu lakini si pesa ako naye lakini like sense of effectiveness akajilipia CPA 1 2 3 4 zinafika kabi 6 na akisoma ako na sense of effectiveness anafauru 
akajilipia degree ya bachelor of commerce wazazi walikuja kucherekea degree hawajalipa anything na nika biashara ya viatu kwa nyinyi wengine wezi enda kikopo kaja matope na wewe ni wa form 3 muheshimiwa <laughs> muheshimiwa <laughs> hello hiyo kabiasha ya viatu hiyo hiyo akajilipia masters in commerce barikiwa endelea kwa effective god can work kwa mtu ambaye anania ya kufauru na kufanya kazi kwa jai nao fauru haleluya na mbadiliki wapendwa sio watu katika watu kumi labda watu watatu tu wako na hiyo fuata watu do you know kuna kijana mmoja ambaye nakaa anaitwa Sui Maina you know estate yetu ilikuwa green estate baba kingoli ilikuwa watu wako na iko inawekwa hii mawe mawe so that boy akaenda kwa one of our workers uh, one of the neighbors akasema mama i know you are busy nipatie kazi ya landscaping and ground maintenance mimi nitakuwa tu na naweka watu wale tunakaa nao wengine nyumba zao kiingia unaona kama ingia Scotland zinaundwa kuna watu huuda nyumba zao jameni kuna mmoja alijenga neighbor nikamwambia baba baba kaita baba jua baba jimi ana ile nyumba jeka kama hiyo umebarikiwa unakuwa hiyo nyumba mtu amejeka nyumba na, na miezi 5 sita paka tukaona kama zetu sio nyumba zetu ni grade dota grade san Hey guy. We. Mtu hapa anasema ninajenga nyumba yangu. Watu wakija wakiambua ni yangu wanaona akili yangu. The same man una, unazapewa. Naziishe. Praise the Lord. Hata ukijana unamwachia ground number one ni dhamu. Ukimwacha kwa compound hata kama hauko hata kama umeacha house girl hata watoto hainitafi ako na nidhamu inayohitajika kwa estate hutaona kioba maji kwa nyumba akiongea anafanya kazi akiwa sema nifungulie gate niende ukija unaona kama uko London do you know neighbors wakapenda that boy now hawezi kosa nyumba kama maelfu kampane yake iko na blanche dhome kahawa shukari the boy is very rich hello kuna mmoja ni ipea kazi ya kusupply mawe hi do you know nikiwa na mjengo na kwa karoli kale mnaanza kale kaisusu kale kanakuwa kazee sana kanakaa hivi kama kataka kwenda japan kwao akanimwagia mawe nikasema maana maadaru we lakini ile ngumu baba kingori so bishop he ndio ilikuwa ataka na akabia bishop wacha nikumwagia ile mawe anataka utalilipa tu neighbors saw that already meona neighbors walio jenga ni ana bishop nimepata favor from kwako sasa nilona favor bishop nikifanya kazi na wewe ni nani tabarikiwa akapigiwa simu na mp mmoja akabwa kucha hapa kijana akabaskiza nimwagie matirio mawe ya 450,000 hii ni pesa within 3 4 days amemwaga classic akaboa wewe i introduce you to other mps na mijengo yangu yote Kenya ndio utakuwa supply the man is rich wewe tunakupatia kazi hata kufagia hapa tunakupa wengine uko na company ya welding unapewa dirisha bili unakula pesa kwanza wadugu wabaya wadada mpaya fukura 10 unakula ah. hakuna mtu atakiwa kuwa maskini kama uko na nia ya kufauru nia nini na uko na integrity pigeni yesu makofi that's why kitabu cha efeso hiyo maubi na vida tosha leo hiyo hiyo inatosha au no au tuogeza nyingine ongeza ingine. Unajua kama ingekuwa sema na mongera hasa break mkunywa kachai, mrudi tuogeze ingine, tuogeze ingine. Kimuna, una unapatikana tu sadi peke. Tukikuta jana. So bishop, dege shagi kiria tumetura. Haya. 
Haya, hebu tuangalie Efeso 5. Verse 9. Tuende hapo mbele nasema kwa maana tunda la nuru ni katika wema wote na haki na kweli for the fruit of, of the spirit is in all goodness righteousness and truth did you, did you see that tunda la roho si small s capital s roho hiyo jazwa the fruit of the spirit that you received ni katika wema haki na ukweli haya muki haya tuende katika mhm muki hakiki ni nini impedezao bwana finding out what is acceptable to the lord that we don't just do things we do the acceptable semeni acceptable mhm finding out leo tukupatia 1000 toa fungu la 10 na sadaka hiyo pesa weka kwanza weka asimu una pesa weka kwanza kwa usitumie weka usipate roho hiyo pesa wewe weka so that you can have time to fight out what is acceptable because mungu bible says baraka za bwana hufanya mtu atajirike na utajiri usio na uchungu umepata 100000 a blessing this money should make me rich first of all nitimize agano langu na mungu nimetimiza sasa let me stay like i don't have this money i want to fight out what is acceptable because i should be blessed and then what else now verse 12 are you still there the samaje wara musishirikiane na matendo ya ya sio za ya giza and have no fellowship with unfruitful works of darkness but rather expose them verse 12 kwa kuwa yanaotendeka kwao kwa siri ni aibu hata kuyanena lakini hebu tuende verse 14 hivyo husema amka wewe usinziae ufufuke katika wafu na Kristo atakuangaza is rising from works of darkness rising from unfruitfulness rising from failure mungu inaliganisha hiyo na rising from death awake you who is asleep arise from the dead and christ will give you light verse 15 basi angalieni sana jinsi mnavyo enenda we need to look at that don't just leave be very careful bible bible want you to have the details be careful the way you walk not as fools but wise hallelujah verse 16 sema mkiukopo wakati kwa maana zamani hizi ni za uovu ni za uovu redeeming time because the days are evil this this is a very deep thing we need to learn one thing that that we ukiwa mtu ambaye anataka kufaulu sana kitu kimoja ambacho kinakusumbua ni kwamba muda hakuna sio baba muda ni mchache inafika six karibu uombe jua isimame kama wakati wa nani wa Joshua e baba sasa hiyo ndio Ndiyo naona governor ameingia kwa duka yako. Governor sijui wa kitui. Nataka kununua vitu ya 2 million. Mungu siuongeze siku. Because now and then you discover wale watu wako na bio kidogo program ya maisha huwa pana. Unaangalia mtu angalia the next 10 years nitakuaje. One thing you look at that unaangalia inchi Unaangalia resources. Unaangalia inflation. Unaangalia value ya mambo. Hello praise God. You know the other day tulikuwa tuna deeper dege kwenda Kisumu. 
the turn ticket, 27,000, 30,000. Dege hiyo tukua 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 one hour. 79, it equals 76,000 cheapest. Kenya Airways. Luanda Air, 102,000 kwa da hapa kegari. It's expensive kwa da hapa kuliko radan. Nikauliza tulikuwa, tulikuwa busia. Nikauliza Kenya Airways kutoa kisumu tunarobi. Kisumu hapa. Nikauliza Bishop, you'll be shocked. One way is 30,000. Kenya Airways. Sasa mtu anawaenda bio. Ukisikia hiyo bay. Unasema. I should redeem time. Days are evil. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now, mulisikia sasa. Watu kina unachazia uchumi. Sita kwa majina. Some rich people in Kenya. Wameweka a lot of dollar. A lot. A lot. Sasa, shiringi diyo inanguka. Sidiyo? Ndora inapanda. Euro inapanda. Wana ambao wameka pesa. Do you know, like this is, this is tuna account bills a dollar. Moja ya kikope na moja ya e-development. Lakini watu wakagi dollar sana, pastor. Mbajibitu, wakagi dollar sana. Right now, kama uliweka dora uliweka ikuwa na exchange ya 70 shillings. Na sajen pesa gapi? 150. Sidiyo? Siko juu? Kuna watu sahi wanasema hara, hara loya. Tunape? Kwa mana they operate na euro na dora. Anatoa tu akichange ana command. Like now, one of want to work in UK. Akichukua loan huko. Aseme anajega Kenya. Oh, they are really building. Because powd. Eh? Powd moja. Moja. Shiriki moja. Powd moja. Uigereza. Ni one eight or something. Wakati kibake walikuwa minutes of 1976-75. Powd likuwa shiju shiriki shirini. Kuna wakati likuwa shiju shiriki ine. Wakati Kenyans hawakuwa na haja kwa da ladan, watu walikuwa na shopping ladan. Wakati President Nyerere alikuwa na abiyo wa Tanzania, mukitaka kwa da ladan, musiede Britain. And then in Nairobi, Nairobi ilikuwa one of the most clean cities in the world. Ii bahati mnaona ilikuwa imeja alami. Ukiwa na mende, kukruj kwa nyumba, kajo inakuje na kupigia ndawa. Kukitokea panya around, kajo inaua haraka. Ukiagalia bahati sasa, ata mokuru kwa jenka ni kuzuri. Actually, eda kwa Ruben. Kwa Ruben, about the Islam, is now becoming better than bahati. Wameke walami, wamejega hospitali. Si uru adiweka rami kila pahali, eda mokuru, kuna rami. Siwe jimewekwa the other day. Street rights zimewekwa. Waodi wanawekewa. Sisi tiyo tunaharibu, tunaharibu. Nikauliza watu wakajo. Kwa nini ya maji? Bati hakuna maji. Wakasema hapa tunakata maji siku ine. Kwa mana hakuna faida muna leta. Watu wabati hawalipi. Walikata wa kekoa mita. Habarienu. Tuko baha. Nikada kuchukua title. Nikada kabia bishop. Isn't it title this at Adora? Makadara. Whatever. Sabahati. Bahati hazuja hatu jatua titles. Kuna siyasa nyingi. He. He. Mungu wa saidie. Halaloya. So ukiangalia hali. He. Arafu wa muke baba. Ukifanya mungu wa sikia mungu na baba. Kaa. I should redeem time. These are evil. 
Huu ndio wakati unasikia mtoto wa miaka tatu ako na ugojo wa shukari. Mtoto wa miaka kumi ako na kansa. Things that never never happened. Hello. Miaka 70s kusikia Kenya mtu ako na kansa ikuwa gumu. Gumu kabisa. The other day kuna MP wa Yodolet alisema ukasema kuna dawa inapigwa viasi ya nyandarwa ambao ilisimamishwa all over the world na inajulikana kwa baureta kansa na serikali haikusimamisha inapigwa viasi all over hasa nyandarwa nyandarwa now is reading cancer is true it's reading hello the days are evil. one usip you know, let me tell you the truth. Nilikuwa conference. Chia de monja wetu to nyandoka ya bishop can you pray for me? Why I'm a sinner. In which mana? Kuna dawa tumepewa pande ile tunaweka viasi. Inaza sana. Lakini usiasi ukipangusa ukikorusa kidogo inaoza haraka. Bishop mimi najua hiyo viasi si nzuri. So nina shaba yangu kando. Ambao napada viasi eh tunao tumia mimi na familia yangu. Nasikia, I'm doing evil. Kuzia watu wengine viyasi ya bawa siwezi kula. That was true. Pastor Nganga kwenu. Wedo kare warushi ya kwenu. She said, Bishop, there's something wrong somewhere. We are not caring about people. Hello? Yo diyo viyasi tunakura hapa every day, every day. Si alibu viyasha ya viyasi. Lakin the truth is, uh, kuna company moja isema na import from South Africa I think they saw the problem they saw, the other day kuna mzuku walikuwa meenda hapo 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 um, soko mjinga wato naona anachukua viyasi anafanya hivi Anda, immediately naanza kuwa dark anasema rudisha mzuku he knows what they are doing these are evil redeeming time Kwaba musiana huu na muona hasa ni mtoto. Within the next three years. Hata saa hii hao hii rika. Ebu, ebu, rika hii, ebu si mama. Kuja hapa. Masichana wazuri wa bishop. Kaya mimi ni mebalikio na masichana wazuri. Siyo kuja. Ayye, we, si, hey, 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 there's a, and they are very good. Look at these girls. They are making notes. We need to encourage brothers. Kama hapo kwekua kumekawa na ume rika yao hawadiki. Tende kuna shida. Tuagalia saa hii. Tukagwe kandisa. Ni wana umewangapi rika who are making notes here. Uh, lakini walibadrika. 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 Uh, hapa ni kuzuri. Sasa no, this, this, this is a young girl. But this girl undashaga. Mwana ume rika baba Franco. Neiba. Anam, anam, anamtaka. Ukeuliza. Wana choko zagwa. Hata kwa gali. Wana wambua na kupenda. Sidiyo. Kana sema. Tabi ya baya. Shidwe. Is that true? Yes. Wakati wa miaka ingine how to kosa mani wa toto? How do you sasa wana windwa? Desa ivo. Sasa baba rango na pole ya shiro. Desa. Kwa ikara wera. Kama yaka kare bua kare kwa gai dere yaka. Desa ivo. Shiro eko. Ora ida ko. Why? Desa ivo. I'm redeeming time. <laughs> Hallelujah. Desa di mieni. Maubiri mzuri leo. Sasa sasa zimeisha sasa. Kitu some list we get But I just want to say we need to make things happen. Now I've just introduced this. We need to have that sense. Let me say this. Jambo lingine ni kwamba uh is what is Psalms 90 verse 12. Psalms 90 verse 12. Aha. Uh -huh. Psalms 90 verse 12 inasema hivi. Inasema, basi utujulishe kuzihesabu siku zetu. Tujipatie moyo wa hekima. Normally, this issue ya kuhesabu siku. Ukiagalia Psalms 90, inaongea kuhusu the, the, the limitation, how fragile, how weak miri ya watu iko. Ati ni mauwa leo, kesho, Ina leo keso ina oza. You know, it, you know, Sabs United talks about na inarudia sana. And then says, conclusion. Uh -huh. 
Mungu wetu tujulishe kuzihesabu siku zetu inaongea kuhusu the limitation of time Unapata siku zako za kusema we ni mwanaume. Sasa mimi ni mwanamke. Wadada vile mnajipaba hapa na manyonye. Siku zako za kusema mimi ni chache sana. Even your grandmother last year alikuwa hivyo. Wani ruko at your mother wakati alikuwa kasichana mimi alikuwa anatembea hivi. Akienda soko siku za mainama asema Yesu nichukuo kitaka. Hallelujah. That's why there's no pride. There's no pride in the way you appear. The pride is if you number your days and apply your heart to wisdom. The issue is Hallelujah. Sio vile tunakuona unajua na vile vijana wanao vijana wanaambia hivi. Sometimes vijana wajui the only pride uko nao ni huu mli na mwili. Pesa ni ya baba yako, hewa ni ya mugu nguo umenunuliwa zote saruni baba na mama yako au shushu alafu unatembea na wewe unatembea bila wazazi kama unajiringa hivi hakuna kitu uko nacho chako you need to you need to think and be humble eh yeah? wengine ako second year university hata huna huna hata certificate ya degree na unaanza kuvuta bangi <laughs> niko university hauko hauko university Hatujui sisi si, 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 tunajua pata first class honors na utoke kuwa na akili. Unajua is one thing to have, to have a degree is another thing to be wise. Dick, yes, I visited a, a lady rafiki yetu, watoto ako watoto watatu, wawili kutoka KU. They have degree wako kwa nyumba, wanafagia. They have the knowledge but not wisdom. Wisdom is ability to use that knowledge mpaka dunia ikupatie space ya income and resources kwamba si kusoma tu bacha of education i can change it na nianze shule yangu na watu waje na walipe school fees na nipate pesa wisdom is applying that wisdom is capacity to become not to be you know what we got the capacity to be themselves that's what you've been taught be you are sasa be yourself what do you utachana nini na wewe ni mtu mvivu na wewe ni mtu una unajua mtu ujirudia unakuta nina kaujika fulani if i be myself na kwa mimi itakuwa mjinga sana if i be myself ninakaa kama shosho yangu alikuwa na rara masato dipo if i be myself mimi ni mkali takufuza customer <laughs> ndiada kesi moja ya dada moja wa kanisa kaambia bishop hii kesi umekuja ni neema tu kwa nini kama ni gerudi miaka tano nyuma hapa kuge kwa na kesi huu ningemaliza na nini aha huu huu wake kwa isi huu kada haka ite mwono ku you know if you be yourself kuna mutu wakua yourself wezi huza duka ifauru kuna mutu ukiwa yourself wezi lea watoto kuna mtu ukiwa yourself iwezi kuwa mume wa mtu wewe ni wale watu ambao mahubiria yako ni ya kukaa peke yako you are a funny creature and very strange kukaa na mwingine is very hard ukiwa peke yako you can end up with somebody's wife that's why <clears throat> being yourself simpaya but the issue is is that yourself helping you kama kuwa wewe ni kulala mpaka saa 4 kwamba ni mlala mpaka saa 4 kwa nini eh hey, am myself utakuwa na jaa huko nani atakuwa na mwanamke na mka saa 4 ndio napika chai you know when you are yourself unasikia when you are yourself you don't care about others mzee ameamka asubuhi amepitia kazini you know there was there what my mandate just unapata anakula breakfast kazini ako na msichana ameajiri personal assistant anayejua yale mayaya anakula kwa maana mke kile ako nacho ni certificate ya marriage unajua kuna wadada akiona leo wadada mwaigiria Mungu asaidie kuna wadada wakiolewa amefika nyende a mrs garoi hapana hautaki mrs garoi atataka wisdom of that hautaki wito mume wa mtu mimi nimeoa unaona hapana 
tutaka kujua mume huyu mke unasema akamweka pete how how is the family teach us to number our days that we may gain hearts of wisdom that's very important by the grace of god we call that moyo applied hearts kuna moyo wangu uliotoka nje na ukajulikana kuna kitu kimetoka ndani yangu na nikawa talented kuna kitu kimetoka ndani yangu i'm living maisha na uito wisdom life wisdom life hallelujah kitu kingine as we finish now is aha bwana sio sana hallelujah na kuna kitu kita timing sema ni timing kuna wakati you sense timing ya ya jabu fulani imefika yani kwanza resist wakati mambo ya 10000 sita ilifika wapendwa nilikuwa nili nasikia naweza i can die here this is unasikia sio kama kitu inakuchika na, wewe time the timing ya jabo ya mugu ikifika you are so vigorous so much powerful for it ni majira jabo hili ukiangalia exodus chapter 3 verse 3 Exodus chapter 3 verse 3. Inasema nini? Let's see very quickly. Inasema Mhm. Mm Now, Moses has seen the burning bush. And what is this man doing? The Bible says, I will now turn aside and see. Say after me, I will now turn aside and see. Kuna wakati God will release a sign of a specific season that is starting. Moses haja one vibereni. Sema this is spectacular. This is unique is a remarkable thing. It's as if God is starting a new season in my life. It's as if kile nimegojea all the years. I could I could sense kuna kitu kiko bila oh is starting. Asema wacha nigeuke sasa niangalie ishara hii bwana asifiwe the season ikifika you must turn and see kuna kitu mungu atakuchokoza nacho moses said it was a great sight what moses habari yako habari ya maisha fungua hiyo diary fungua bible barikiwa haleluya <laughs> niko nataka kusalimia nikaona ugechupokea salamu nikaona acha niko niko haleluya bwana asifiwe let me donate this water to you mpatie image hapana akunywe yangu alafu baada ibada uniwekee maji ingine sasa umeku sasa ni No make sure memaliza hiyo yangu. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I'm okay. I'm okay now. Now, you see Moses saying, "Let me turn aside and see great sight." Can you something French? Watu wingi munaona wameenda bali. One day they turned aside to see a great sight. Unajua Mungu ukikaa kuna mambo ata kuchokosa naye. Kama Mungu alikusudia wini. Yeah. Utaenda Japan business. Utaona hiyo kitu as you live inakuchokosa. Ni kitu kinatokea tu. Kinatokea tu. Eh? Unakuta kuna interest uko naye ya kitu. Kinakuchokosa. But you need to turn aside and see it. And see it. Sometimes is a sense in your heart. Unasikia mgoni mwako, Roho Mtakatifu kila anakuweka. Ni kitu kikubwa because signs can be internal or external, within or without. Hallelujah. Wanjo tulikuwa na Brown akacheza keyboard. Ma bishop alikuwa ametembea kwa mazishi fulani akasema, "Bishop, who is that boy?" Bishop moja kutoka sa moja kubwa sana kikuyu 
And then Bishop Shaw said, Oh, Bishop, that's a gifted. I can be a bishop. You know, if you bring that boy, I add you to. And Tamuliza. Now to be a bossy, I can be a Okay, that's a guitar. Bishop, you can't get a guitar. You can't get a guitar. You're still spotting at you. So those are things that come. Unakuta kwamba. We hata huna shuguri. You are just. But nakini kuna kitu kina kuchokosa. God has interest na wala watu hugeuka waone. Umesikia dani yako ni kama. Mungu wana kueka kitu. Utakuwa na biyashara kubwa. Turn around. Watch that sign. Kwa mana mungu ataogea, you turn around. God spoke to Moses when he turned around to see a couple, oh, Moses, you have done the best. Kwa mana umegeuka wone, it's me. Sio Bush is Jehovah. Nisalimieni. Can I tell you something? Ukiono meka meka ishirini hujabadrika. Kuna ishara yako. Kuna uguzo flani. You never turned around to see. Umeangalia bus. Ikipita. Then it says in your heart. The Holy Ghost says, look at that bus. Yes. Look at it. Umeangalia nyumba. Bedroom siju is none. Look at that house. Kuna watu wagari hana interest, but in in your soul, yes, that's the kind of building. When you look at it, do you know God cannot speak to you if you don't turn around to see. When you look at it, God says, such a building. T. R. Osborne akiwa kijana mdogo, alienda crusade, jamani kuwa na hubili, kusoma tu hivi, watu kwa the whole stadium wana jaso guvu wana pona. And the man was so old. Akasema, God, will you allow this old man to die with this anointing? God said, young boy, hata kufa nae, I transfer it to you. Na utahubidi kuliko ye. Hallelujah. One day, Bonke, alikuwa crusade kubwa sana, South Africa. Very big crusade. Pastor Moja went to Apostolic Faith Mission at Kwa 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 to check her out, the sun has disappeared. Kwa 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 the boy was crying, speaking in tongues, and he said, Behold, this mm, who has who you take my mantle. Kijana, I'm a shika guya bonke. Kameaza kuria, kanarena kwaluga, hakaelewi, akasema, yes, guvu ime mwinge huyu, atakuwa mubri kama mimi. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Kunoto na interest. Huna interest. Huna. And you cannot see if you are not there. Elijah, Elijah, the Abuaji, Kama utakweko. Utapata. Kama utakweko. Kuna wantu, you just come on Sunday, you have no interest. Ya kujua revival, Bishop Tagasa, what was there. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. What was God saying? I want to be there to see. You are always not there. You cannot turn around to see if you are not there. Number two, you can receive utter internal touch. Kama hakuna external exposure. Leo kwa kujera. Ufugua mahali brother. Au tuchukue Karen, eh? Tufungie pahali. Akaya meka 20. It's very hard. Dani yake kuwe na ukubwa. Because the internal, eh? 
is influenced by external. Nimeona jambo kubwa. Roho bwana kaniambia such. May God help us now. You need to hear great things. Hearing. You could not be able to see but you hear great testimonies, great music, great things. Kama nyinyi watu wa praise, you hear great music, some of that kind of singing that I would desire. If you don't have exposure, either ya kuona au kusikia au kusoma, sometimes ni vingumu sana sauti ya dani ipate jia. Remember, this is an introduction of a topic in Aitwa, make things happen. And finally, I just want to say this, if you read the same chapter, verse 7, in as imagine, verse 7, what does it say? I have sure seen nimeona mateso yao. Hallelujah. Now, if you read verse 7, <coughs> and then we pray about it. Ah, yeah. Bwana kasema, verse 7. Bwana kasema, hakika nimeona mateso ya watu wangu walioko misri, nami nimesikia kilio chao kwa sababu ya suma mishu wao. Na yanjua maumivu yao. Nami nimeshu. Say after me, Nami ni meshuka. Iri ni waokoe. Ni wapandishe. Kutoka inchi ile. Hata inchi jema. Kisha pana. Inchi ijayo. Maziwa na asari. You need to detect the season. Make things happen. God is saying now. You could where well, you could have suffered so many years, but you can you cannot suffer indefinitely. Who is the car you buy your indefinitely? Who is the car na matchosi no me okoka me akayote? Last time one day would detect God has come to deliver me, and you must know now. This is the end of my sorrow. This is the end of my tears. There should be a day, a season when you detect. Mungu ni nem to mikia ameshuka. Na nasema now. These people must, this person must get out. And God is saying, I'll take you to another land. Pana, tena nzuri. It will be direct opposite of what you're experiencing now. And that's why God brought only one voice. Let my people go. You know, if you read some verses there, Utaona right now, if you go up to if you go to Exodus or the chapter 5, verse 1, Bible says, Let my people go. Hallelujah. And the quake. You know, and the one be a Let my people go. Ukienda the same chapter verse 30, chapter 5 verse 30, let my people go. Ukienda the same chapter, chapter, uh, chapter 8, and I say, let my people go. Why endewa nitumikia? Let my people go. Ili wapate kunitumikia. There should be a voice that says, time has come that you should go. Amen. May the Lord bless the church. May the Lord keep us now. Make things happen. Don't just stay there. Kuna mambo mungo nataka itedeke. Hautaka hivo. If you want to hear the part two of this message, nitaeda sasa. Iyo ni introduction. Medica notes nyingi. That's good. That's introduction. Sato taeda part. Tutaanza sasa kuona. How do you make things happen? Because they should happen. Okikami akayota, things are not happening. Then there's something wrong. Because God is God of making things happen. Now, apendo wa sikizeni, iyo diyo majila tukodani yake. Oh, sikia. Mi sitaki ukuona tumekana na we hapa miakayote. I want to see things happening. Nataka nije nifugwe nyumba yako sasa. Hey, hey, hey. Nikuhubiri hapa, ukaya nyumba kukodesha, uritaiko yyo nyumba. There's something wrong somewhere. 
Hallelujah. Kuna dogo moja niambia bisho kuja uone uoge na mke wangu. Amekataa tuhamie plot yetu. Atikubali. Mama si uende. Hapana utaenda. Today mahali wanakaa. Ukitaka plot hapo ni milioni 5. Milioni 6. Nyumba zimejengwa za maana na plot yao ni kubwa. Kuna watu ambao they are not hawana roho ya liberation. Vile kitchen inakaa, umeipaka ragi ukaifika plaster. Hayogezee kini kukurusa unabomoa pana. Arafu na isuta kitchen yangu na ni ya futi tano na futi ingine tatu. Umeweka machumba ingine hapo ya jua kali wacha you need to be liberated useme this is not right this is not right na wapedo msidaganywe tuko duniani sasa na hatutakufia jagwani let god take us to heaven when we are in canaan canaan is not in heaven is here each hiyo ambayo inaandikwa hapo pana is not heaven it was on earth Lazi maikweze kana by God's great. Mutu wa mungu wa fike pahari ya bapo. Mungu wako alionekana katika maisha yako duniani hii vizuri. In case yeso atakawia ukufe, utaachia watoto wako na watu watakao paki nyuma. Ishara za matokeo ya imani. Let's start for prayer. E buwana uninu kwa imu Me.